Okay, morning guys. It's um, half past six in the morning. I've been driving for about, I don't know, about two hours. I'm uh, just going up the M5 at the moment on our way to Liverpool Sailing Club, uh, which is at the end of the runway at John Lennon uh, Airport. Uh, this has been arranged for a few months now. Uh, there's a forum on Yahoo groups um, run by a nice chap called Oliver who's organised a privateer uh, get together and another boats as well. Um, I think there was about seven going but as from last night there was three. Uh, myself, Oliver and a lady called Mary's taking a boat which is not a privateer, I don't know what it is. Um, but uh, yeah, it should be good. So yeah, so it's just driving up now. Uh, Paul, uh, my crew is uh, gonna meet me there or might even meet me on the M6, depending on whereabouts we are, um, how far apart we are when we get there. He's coming from Milton Keynes. I'm obviously coming from the Vices. So, um, so yeah, I guess it's not a surprise really that uh, there's only three of us. Uh, Oliver is single and retired. Um, don't know too much about Mary. She's retired. Um, and for the likes of myself and Paul, we're very lucky. We have really understanding wives. And um, that, that lets us go off and do damn things. Um, without them, this wouldn't happen. And I guess the others out there they have families and uh, wives that, that, that take up their time and sailing is secondary to them um, which is totally understandable you know I'm lucky in the fact that my kids have grown up and they've left home now and um, even come with me sometimes um, and Jules is a fair weather sailor bless her she'll come out for a couple of days um, as long as the, the the temperature's there and it's probably not the Irish Sea. Um, although she was going to come for the last couple of days of this, but work commitments has uh, stopped for her so she can't do it. So yeah, so we're on our way up to Liverpool and uh, sailing out of the Mersey, the tides. Um, I think we can, uh, about five o'clock for high tide. Um, so we've got absolutely stacks of time. I'm planning on being there for between nine and 10. I'm just doing 50 miles an hour because I'm towing. Um, so yeah, so I've got a couple more hours. So I'm gonna be there for nine o'clock, I should think, uh, barring any problems. Um, so yeah, so it's, it's a good run so far. I think I've got everything. Um, we've got two, grown men living in a boat for a week um, that's not as big as your average shed and uh, plus all the safety equipment and sailing for paraphernalia and all that sort of thing it's uh, it, it, there's not going to be much room um, we do have a boom tent now so that should be good we pull up at night and then we can chuck all our bags and stuff out into the cockpit which will free up the cabin space for um, chilling out in, um, get our heads down and stuff. Yeah, so uh, been a long time coming this one. It's been organised, like I said, for quite some time. So yeah, looking forward to it. A bit apprehensive, never sailed this part of the, the world before. Um, so it's all new to me. We're basically just following Oliver, doing a bit of a flotilla thing. Um, I'm not planning on doing too much of the navigating or anything like that. I've got my electronic charts and so on and so forth. But uh, yeah, I'm basically just going to be following Oliver. He's, it's his home turf, he lives there, his boat's moored there. Um, so yeah, so uh, we'll see how we get on. And, uh, yeah, watch your space.
Good. 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 Good.